All right, Ben, concern in Highland Park tonight after several homes are found to have elevated levels of lead and copper. This spring, the city conducted water testing on 36 homes, and nine of those homes were found to have these elevated levels. The average results for the nine homes tested nearly three times higher than the standard limit. Water Department Director urged residents to remain calm but cautious. We have no reason to believe that we are in a state of emergency, but we do know that we are ultra sensitive to this issue and so that's you know we want to make sure that we're communicating properly with everyone uh, but we, we we still want to be calm about this and and let everybody know that we have a plan uh, that there's information out there and that it's we're, we're not everybody is not contaminated now the state will also be out conducting testing tomorrow morning and to know it's no longer just flint with uh, lead in the water has been upsetting to many. That leaves the question, what do you do about it? Well, for some answers, we bring in Rod Maloney, who's been investigating how you can find some peace of mind. Rod. Well, Devin, you know, I mean, here in uh, in Highland Park tomorrow, they're going to be getting bottled water and filters here at the fire station. And a lot of other people would like to get out ahead of this and know specifically what they've got coming out of their tap. It's not an easily answered question. We spent a lot, a lot of time on the phone today, a lot of differing agencies, and uh, there are some secrets to what you should do if you want to get some testing done. Let's take a look. Southeast Michigan watched in horror as Flint's lead levels spiked and the state dropped the ball in managing the situation. In the back of their minds, many Michiganders wondered, is this a bigger problem? How I go about it and how much lead is in my yeah. water. Does the city do it or... Do you have to call the county? Homes built before 1980 probably have a lead service line from the street to the house, and it's the main cause of the trouble, we're told. The stopgap measure in Highland Park is to run the water for about two to five minutes before using it. Residents who want their water tested, we're told, should call the entity where they pay their water bill and ask if they can get lead testing. Some communities will offer those tests for free. The state of Michigan offers testing for a full spectrum of concerns, and you can get test kits from the State Department of Environment, and the kits are sent to your home. If you're on a well, you too can get test kits from the state of Michigan. I'm getting ready to talk to my husband. Yeah, nobody knows. It, sometimes it tastes funny, you know, you don't, you're not sure. I mean, we usually drink it out of, the, uh, out of the fridge. It tastes a little better, but, you know, it's filtered. So there are a lot of people who might want to get out ahead of this uh, even faster. You can get private testing done. You end up having to pay for that. Something like 18 to $20 per test is what we're told is the answer. Um, if you want to find out where specifically to go for those tests, we have a list with a PDF of dozens of companies that do it here in the state of Michigan. It's on the website. Click on Detroit.com. Reporting live in Highland Park, Rod Maloney, Local 4. You bet. All right, Rod.